I found out that my fiancé has videos of her and her late husband having, and she watches them in our bedroom every other night. To begin, I'd like to state that I male 34, met my now fiancé, female 36, 18 months ago, and that we have been together ever since. We started off as an LDR relationship, but three months after proposing, I moved in with her. The recurrent heart illness that claimed her late husband, who was six years her younger, took her life in 2017. It is clear that she cared about him and went out of her way to assist him in his recovery. In the beginning of our living situation together, we were entirely understanding and respectful of one other. Because she's a sensitive soul, she likes her own company, which is okay with me so long as she's given the space she need. She has, on the other hand, began to behave in an unusual manner. Approximately every other night, she would complete whatever she was doing, go into her bedroom, close the door, and stay for two hours. Even though I didn't want to confront her about it because she didn't appear to be interested in talking, I couldn't help but inquire, and she responded by saying that it was her space and time and asking that I respect that, to which I apologized and said she had every right to enjoy some alone time, but I couldn't shake the feeling that something wasn't quite right, especially as the occurrences became more frequent. In the shower with her, I decided to sneak a glance at her laptop, where I discovered videos of her having with her late husband. I was shocked to discover these recordings. I'm not sure what I was feeling but it was mostly confusion and some sort of shock that poured over me. In my estimate, there were around 10 recordings and those videos were very probably made during his last months, based on the date and the fact that there were so many pauses and coughing sounds that were clearly from him. That she was watching those DVD every other night was completely unknown to me. She never even said she had them. Yes, she sent me with photographs of him, as well as a single close-up video of him waking up in the hospital but that was all she had. I was completely unaware of the existence of those films, and I had no idea they existed. As soon as I confronted her about what I had discovered, she basically turned the conversation into an argument about privacy invasion and disrespect for her boundaries. She then admitted to watching those videos whenever she walks into her bedroom and locking the door, and said I had been wrong to come at her in that manner over keeping a few items from her late husband. She asked that I accept this as a part of her past, but I believe that these are memories that she should rethink having around me in order to show respect for me as my current partner and for our relationship as a whole. She said that I was wrong, just like the other men she had dated, and that it was all in my head because I was jealous, but trust me when I say that I am not the jealous kind, nor do I get jealous easily. Keeping mementos of a loved one is something I can understand, but this, I don't know what to say about that, but it makes me feel sick just thinking about it. We had a disagreement, and she said that she would continue to watch such videos whenever she wanted, and that I had no right to tell her how she should grieve, and that was the end of the matter. She effectively proceeded to give me the silent treatment, making me feel horrible for even bringing this up, while at the same time being completely unwilling to talk things out with me. If I don't pursue it, I'm at a loss as to whether I should drop it. But what else can I do because she's told me that I am in the wrong in this situation? Story 2. I, male 28, broke up with my ex-fiancé, female 27, of four years two weeks ago after catching her in a huge lie and then finding out three days ago that she committed suicide because I wouldn't take her back. I am in need of some serious advice as I'm being blamed for everything. A little backstory. My ex-fiancé and I had been dating for about six years, and we had been engaged for four of those six years. At a party, I was introduced to her by a close friend, and we instantly bonded. She was pretty, had a fantastic personality, and had similar interests with me, so it was ideal. Back in April of this year, I began seeing little changes in her. She began wearing more exposing clothing to work, applied more makeup, and so on. TBH, I had no problem with any of that because it was her body. She could wear whatever she wanted and put on as much makeup as she wanted. However, what made things worse for me was when she started coming home late from work or how, instead of spending the weekend off with me. We both had weekends off from work. She was always going out. I once asked her why she never invited me to come out with her. 
to which she said that it was just a lady's night out and that her other friends would be upset if I came since they weren't bringing their own boyfriend. It all came tumbling down when I and her had a large disagreement in June because she decided that instead of going out on a date with me, she informed me that she already had arrangements with her friends and that cancelling would be impolite of her. That was the end of it for me. I blew out at her and we had a tremendous argument, which culminated in her collecting her belongings and leaving. I hadn't heard from her in about a week, and none of her friends or family knew where she was or what was going on until she eventually reached me and wanted to chat. Imagine my amazement when she admitted to me that there was another man involved and that she had been hanging out with him the whole time she had been lying to me about going out with her pals. I didn't want anything to do with her and was about to break up with her until she went down on her knees and begged me to give her another opportunity, which my stupid self accepted but only after she exposed everything to me, which she did. It made me sick to my stomach, but in the end, I forgave her and instructed her to erase any communication with the other person and that I expected her to have no contact with him in the future, which she did, and everything went back to normal. We were even spending more time together, but that feeling, that trust was gone. Everything was well until two weeks ago, when a buddy of mine who was visiting another city three hours away gave me a photo with the caption Sorry Bro, which devastated my already wounded heart into a billion small pieces. The photo was of my ex fiance holding hands with an unknown stranger at a mall three hours away from where we lived. I cried because I was devastated. She was a jerk, a jerk, particularly since I believed she was at work when she was really three hours away holding hands with her boyfriend. I waited for her when I came home from work and confronted her, which she denied and called me a weird a for not believing her and a piece of for not trusting her until I showed her the image that my buddy had given me. Her expression told me everything, and when the tears began, I realized I'd made a tremendous mistake by accepting her back, so I called it quits. She wept and begged me to reconsider and not throw away all we had together, which got me enraged, and I won't lie, I smacked her. I wasn't proud, and I'm still not, but her saying things like don't throw anything away when she was the one who tossed everything out irritated me. I instructed her to pack her belongings and go, I phoned her and my parents and told them everything. Her parents arrived to assist her, and I essentially told them to after they encouraged me to think it over and make the proper choice before ending it. She begged me not to, but I had no choice but to do it for my own peace of mind. I hadn't heard from her or her parents until three days ago, when my parents phoned to inform me that my ex fiance had committed suicide. Her parents discovered her hanging and she had left a note apologizing to everyone, including my parents and me, and saying how she is sorry from the bottom of her heart for what she done to me, and how she can't live without me, so she ended it. I'm at a loss, my ex-friend's fiancés and family are blaming me, and my own mother told me that it was my fault, that I should have forgiven her since I'm definitely worth committing myself over. I'm disgusted, I've just taken some time off from work and have no idea what to do.